everyone. Today I'm bringing you 10 spring fragrances. These are 10 of my recommendations to try it for spring. I really hope she doesn't knock them over. She has to get involved, a little minx. So if I just show you them all, let's move that over here. I thought I would show you them all at once. You can see what we have here. No particular order on any of these. Let's just go with this one here first then. So this is Zoologist Dragonfly. Very powdery, fluffy and slightly green. There's heliotrope in here. So it has a slight almondy feel to it. A very powdery yet somehow has a watery feel at the same time. Extremely transparent but very long lasting. Really great spring feel to that one. Then this is the newest in my collection and this was gifted to me by Miguel Matos. It's called Miracle of Roses. It has a, obviously a rose note in there but also bread and cinnamon amongst other things. It's really smooth and very very different but calming and comforting and I would say would suit a slightly cooler spring days or evenings still getting to know that one a review is to follow once i've worn it a few more times this is esquise parfums and it's called tulip rouge tulips are definitely a spring flower however this one to me smells like a less sweet marzipan it's absolutely beautiful slightly floral not too sweet almondy marzipan as you can see i've used a fair amount of that i really love this one it's reasonably linear, doesn't do a lot of changes on the skin, but it's a very, very pretty and spring-like. I really enjoy that one. This one is a Guerlain, as you can tell, and it's called a Mademoiselle. It has a galbanum note in the top that's not too strong or dominant. Galbanum is one of my lesser favourite notes, but it doesn't bother me in this fragrance because the marshmallow fluffy sweet floral notes that come through are so good so this is really really nice for spring you've got the greenness of the galbanum but then you also have a little bit of a gourmand-esque note with a powdery marshmallow type thing going on this one here is called 411 intenso and it's by giovanna antonelli this is a sheepra fragrance there's rose and I would say rose is the most dominant of the notes in here, but it's really, really complex. It's kind of hard for me to explain. Oh, yeah. It's a, a little bit of a fresh... Oh, bugger. Don't panic, it didn't break. <laughs> it's a little bit of a freshness to it, but there's intensity, there's some patchouli in there. The patchouli is listed as a base note, but I actually notice it in the opening notes as well but it's not too strong because i don't like too much patchouli a really complex grown-up vintage style rose fragrance now no surprises that powder and dust is in this list it's a perfect fragrance for spring and one of my all-time favorite fragrances ever so powder and dust by sb parfums has mimosa pear vanilla amongst many other things to me it smells a bit like pear drops the, the traditional english sweets but a lot of other stuff going on really really nice this one's called amelie may and it's by lush or gorilla perfumes i'm just going to oh my goodness so this is super strong so this one would work on the cooler days or the evenings but also if you go lightly on the trigger happily at any spring day almond is quite a strong note in here oh, the cat's off <laughs> you get almond you get a lot of citruses and it's sweetness like a sugariness as well i'm just going to have a look at the oh it's got rose in it and ylang ylang as well it says a perfume garden sweetened with rose absolute and ylang ylang oil really sweet and lively an outgoing vibrant fragrance very very strong but not obnoxious 
So this one's called Baccio di Velluto by Brigantia Perfumes. I love this one. It's predominantly, oh, so good. Predominantly Ylang Ylang. It has a slightly vintage feel. There's sandalwood and there's also ambergris in here. I really, really enjoy it and I think it's perfect for spring. Next one, Centerpiece. This one's got wormwood or um, what's wormwood also called? I've forgotten. It's in La Male. Anyway, it's very, very smooth. It has a kind of musky feel. It's got frangipan and green tea in it as well. It's one of those fragrances that just makes you smell really, really good. And most people probably won't put their finger on what it is you smell like, but you smell sort of clean, sort of musky, and definitely very interesting. But it has a lovely freshness about it that's great for spring. And then finally, another rose fragrance here, which is called Me Too by NB Parfums. This is a beautiful rose fragrance. It has sandalwood, vanilla, spices. It's got cinnamon. Oh, it's so good. It starts off similar to Intense Cafe, if you know that one. But in the dry down, you get some more woody. You get the sandalwood. It's less sweet. And the cinnamon is really nice and it just smells different and interesting and just perfect again it's not heavy it's not too sweet it's just perfect for spring day i think so that's all of them that's all 10 fragrances i do hope that you enjoyed here's a little pan of them all for you i do hope you enjoyed this sweet is still on the fence i think she's hunting for birds Thank you for watching and I will catch you in the next video.